you got a friend in me. Do do do. You got a friend in me. <laughs> Wait, what would you do, do, baby? You got a friend in me. This cereal is pretty good. <laughs> And with the biggest drum roll, please. <laughs> We're back. Yes, we are. Yep. Hi. This is a brand new episode, a revamped version of... Blazing Sensation. Sensation. <laughs> yes. Blazing Sensation. Hope what up? Ready. And right. today... Uh, as you've seen on the title, as you want to click the video, we are talking to you guys. Full spoiler review of Toy Story 4. Spoiler review? Spoiler review. That's right. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about the movie okay. and tell you our thoughts and give you our ratings. Um, but yeah, let's just talk about the movie. Let's start and kick it off. Toy Story 4. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. Oh my gosh, and f before we even talk any further, let's throw it to the trailer so you can see it too. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. What a oh, she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. I want you to meet Forky. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah. <gasps> we can't stay. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, what are you doing here? No time to explain. Come with me. Do, Buzz. What would Woody do? Jump out of a moving vehicle. Let's go! Hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. Kids lose their toys every day. I was made to help a child. I don't remember it being this hard. Right? That's the trailer. Oh my gosh, Toy Story 4. So Toy Story, big movie in my yes. childhood. I don't know about yours. Of course, I love Disney. What do you mean? Yep. Toy Story 1 is legit my favorite Disney movie of all time. I love Toy Story. It's my favorite. It's the best. Some people yeah. say Lion King. What did, what did you think about Toy Story Land when we went to Toy Story Land? Oh, it was great. It was cool. It wasn't enough rides, though, but it was. they really realized yeah. it well. But we're not here to talk about that. Toy know. Story 4. <laughs> okay. All right, so Toy Story 4 has us joining up again with the gang. Woody and Buzz and Rex and Jesse. And the pig. And the pig. And Potato Head. Met the Potato Head family. <laughs> and a new friend, Sporky. No, his name is Forky. Even oh, though it's a sport. Forky. Forky. <laughs> See, they're going to kill me. Forky, yeah, man. And basically, we start off, right, and the movie goes through uh, the transition and catch people up to speed if you actually haven't been kind of watching them all, which is mm -hmm. cool. You start off with, with Andy and a nice montage of him mm -hmm. growing up and the toys getting passed to Bonnie. If anyone saw the end of Toy Story 3, which mm -hmm. I'm imagining you did, and then yeah. <laughs> um, we start here with Bonnie. Bonnie's older a little mm -hmm. bit. And she's, she's going, going to kindergarten. Yeah. Uh, and we see the toys as they transition into life with Bonnie. And mm -hmm. similar to what we saw with Andy, Andy. and his, his sister Molly is obviously mm -hmm. like kids get older. Yeah. Bonnie's now playing with some of the toys less. Yep. And one of those happens to be our favorite cowboy, Woody. Mm -hmm. So what did I, you think about like the stakes they set up from the beginning, right? From, like, okay. you know, the feelings of everything, the how it started, where Woody was. I don't think that Woody was ever able to adjust to like the role change because when he came to Bonnie's house, that doll, which I don't know her name. Do you know the doll's name? Nope. Okay, well the doll that's in charge of Bonnie's room it has the role that Woody had when he was in Andy's room. And so, you know, when they had their morning gathering, um, but they just happened to be in the closet because that's where Bonnie's mom put all the toys. He wanted to take control and, you know, make sure everyone was okay, but that was no longer his role because he wasn't the main toy. He was a used to. Everybody want to listen to Woody. He was like, boy, sit your tail down. Yeah, it was so sad. <laughs> he, was all like, he, was like, he was like, oh, you know, you know, they're going to pick me next time. Yeah. Woody growing dust bunnies on him and they making other know. toys talking shit about him and making fun of him. Poor thing. <laughs> and then Buzz is over there like, are you sure you're going to be okay? You sure you're going to be okay? <laughs> <laughs> and so Bonnie goes to school and Woody's like, you know what? I've seen this all before. I went to Andy's first day mm. and they had to put him in his place. They said, look, look, she ain't. Andy. Okay. Yeah, I know. They had to repeat that over and over again throughout the movie. And so 
he's like, you know what? Now nah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. And he he he, he says, you know, forget the other toys. He sneaks I'm jumping into her in. backpack. Yeah, she's not allowed to bring toys, by the and way. And it was borderline creepy. Woody was a stalker in this movie. It was kind of weird. He in the backpack. He behind the books. He looking over the. <laughs> he, it was kind of weird. It yeah. was like a little too. She didn't even notice him at all. He gets there, and Bonnie's kind of scared. It's her first day, and it's not even really school. It's like orientation. Yeah, it's orientation day. <laughs> <laughs> some kid steals all the art supplies, and some yeah. of them fall in the trash. And when Bonnie's crying, Woody sneaks away and throws supplies to Bonnie so she can, you know, decorate her cup. Right. Or whatever they were. And no one was sitting kid with her. Activity. It was sad. It was sad. Then he threw the. Um, the pipe cleaners and the spork and the gum and the popsicle sticks. And then Boy, Bonnie went to work. Bonnie. <laughs> yep. She was like, I don't need none of you little bastards. <laughs> I'ma make me a friend. And that's exactly what she did. She made herself a friend. Then we mm -hmm. have the introduction of Bonnie's new favorite toy, Forky. Forky. <laughs> Bonnie made a friend in class. Oh, kid. she's already making she friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. Everyone, I want you to meet Forky! Um, and the movie really does a great job of really playing this up at like who Forky is and what he is and he's, he's trash and he knows he's trash. Literally. He, he's trash. Literally. he wants to be in the trash. And I am not a toy. I was made for soup, salad, maybe chili, and then the trash. Freedom! It becomes this really great metaphor um, as they transition, you know, throughout the film of like who you are and mm -hmm. who these toys are, who they believe themselves to be and, you know, uh, kind of like what you know, what their place really right, is, and where their what their purpose is now. Mm -hmm. That things have changed. The Toy Story franchise has always done a really great job. In this movie, I think probably low key might be the more you know the most complex oh, out definitely. of all of them because of the great writing and dialogue, mm -hmm. um, the screenplay. Uh, they did an excellent job here. Uh, with these characters that people have grown up through years. And I think if you are someone, you know, for every age, right, who's been experienced with these cast of characters, you'll everyone will pick up something different. Mm -hmm. I agree. Right? Like, if you're a kid watching this, you're going to be into the colors and everything else. If it's you, all about perspective. You know, if you are an adult or someone mm -hmm. who's in a relationship or a teenager, like, everyone's going to pick up different things. I, so I agree. I want to know, like, what did you really, what was, like, the themes as she puts the giant cereal in her mouth? What was, like, your overall takeaway from this story as we watch this transition with Bonnie and Forky and, and Woody and Buzz and their whole yeah. adventure uh, they have in the film? Um, I definitely think it's about their relationships with one another. Um, but I felt like the main focus throughout this movie was definitely Woody. Um, I would say that it's, it's about knowing your role and your position when it comes to the, the circumstance or the position you're in or wh wherever or whatever life throws at you. Like, I think that's what they were trying to, like, what Woody was trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. For me, right, my perspective watching this, I think this movie is crazy. Like, it's really about all, like, all aspects of a relationship and specifically a romantic one and the cool thing i really liked about uh, the screenplay here put together by john lassiter and andrew stanton um the uh, writers of the story here is every character if you take away kind of the facade of who they are right buzz lightyear is a man um and woody's supposed to be a guy and then bo peep who is a returning character in the movie is, is a woman a and, and, and all these other people mm -hmm. right and you just take all that out of it and you just listen to what they say in the small little through lines here um there's a lot there right so i took some notes so uh when you think of there's a scene in the movie where Woody and Bonnie and they reconnect, right? And it makes you think about, uh, old, you know, old, your old thing. <laughs> yeah. Your old flame you when used to have. Thing. And the girl you want to get back or the guy you want to get back. And all the feelings that come with, you know, maybe... The uh, comfort of yeah. what it was. Right. And it coming back to you. Right. Um, Woody and Buzz in the film, right? Mm -hmm. and, he, and them challenging one another. Yeah. Uh, there's a part where like Buzz is like talking about using his inner voice and he's trying <laughs> to convince Woody of certain things and then ultimately um, where they decide to sort of separate and go their, di mm -hmm. their own directions in, in the film um, 
you you have this whole notion of like letting go yeah right of a relationship um <sighs> just knowing that and not in a negative way right right it's a it's just like yo two people have been involved in something and they have just outgrown where yeah. they are who really does a great job touching on that and yeah. then you have forky right <laughs> you know forky is a guy he got a lot of metaphors going on the man <laughs> thinks he's trash at first how many y'all out there you know what i'm saying one person's trash and another person's trash. Mm -hmm. You know, Bonnie really treasured that, Forky. That's exactly. You know, and it's, it's a lot of people out here who think um, it's, it's it's people in relationships who are not being treated right. Mm -hmm. You know, treated like trash, and then somebody else gonna come around and swoop that up. They are gonna come and grab that. Yep. That's but you're what. so affected. <laughs> you're you're so affected by the way that you were treated that you think that you're still that. And right. I feel like Woody was trying to show him that that's not what it is with this person. So that's I see exactly. the whole relationship thing that he's bringing up here. What about the new people? There's some new toys in here. We got Keanu Reeves in the movie as oh, Duke yeah, yeah. Kaboom, who, who is hilarious. The guy. Key and Peele, who played oh, yeah. Ducky and Bunny. <laughs> is that how we look on the inside? There's so much fluff. Uh-huh. Right? And mm -hmm. then uh, Gabby Gabby. My name is Gabby Gabby. This is the villain. You you had these new people. How yeah. do you feel like they, how they balance the old cast? Were they just as memorable? Were they good? Obviously, Gabby had a, Gabby Gabby had a big role in this movie. Um, she had a s specific goal. What's the bunny in the thing? Duck's name? Ducky. Ducky. And Bunny. Ducky and Bunny. That was it. Ducky and Bunny are hilarious. They have a twisted mindset, which is so funny to watch. Help me get out of here. I'll help you. With my foot. Wow. Yeah. How you like that, cheetah? Oh, oh, to infinity and my foot. Boom. <laughs> In the vacuum of space, they cannot hear you scream. Oh, yeah, Key and Peele. Uh, I mean, they're always great when yeah, they're, they're together. Yeah, they're great together. You'll definitely remember them because they'll make you laugh. And obviously, you're going to remember Forky because he's a main character. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, th I thought the new characters were great. I thought uh, Keanu Reeves' character was oh, good. Oh, I forgot about him. Um, Duke Dang. Kaboom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes, uh -huh. He's posing. Yeah. Duke, we need Hold to... on. One more. Oh, yeah. Um, and I thought the, the story here uh, was really great with how they used the new villain with Gabby Gabby. I thought it was real compelling. Mm -hmm. However, I, I think they copped out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because she started sort of evil, and then like she really wasn't. It was just a sappy story. Which they tried to do, you know what I mean? Like they kind of did that already. Like Lotso in Toy Story three was like that, oh. where like he was sort of evil, but he had a he had a story. But then yeah. in the end, yo, Lotso was really actually evil though. Gabby, Gabby just wanted a chance. Yeah, she was kind of just lonely. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to be loved. Yeah. She wanted to be somebody's toy. Yes, she was a defect out of the box. Yep. Um, and from the jump was afraid, right? And so I think again, right? Relationships. Sometimes you might feel like compared to your peers or the girls in the class or the guys in the class or whoever you're around that you know you don't have the things that they have to yeah. make you special. And yeah. it's crazy because in the movie where Gabby does all the stuff gets her quote unquote enhancements. She gets in the, the she, perfect yeah, situation. She real she wants yo, this toss one person. Her yeah, and the person's the like, Nope, I don't want her. Toss her straight and to the side. And it is sad, but that's that's reality. Like that, that I know. I thought you, that was you crucial. Picture like this perfect relationship with this one person and you think that they are the one and then you have your opportunity with them and you're not. Right, they don't even want you. And it's really about finding uh, someone the who genuinely, one, yes. you know, will care for you as much as like you want to care for mm -hmm. them. So... Should we talk about both people a little more? Because she was, had a lot, she had a big... I mean... She's an independent woman. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> in every sense of the word, for real. So, yeah. Bo Peep is out here in these streets. <laughs> yes, literally. She's a lost toy. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> She's literally a lost toy. Yeah, right, she don't need no bed. She don't yeah. need no... You see how you need, look, she, look, look, replace kid with man. That's how they try it. Bo Peep, she's like, I don't need a kid. I don't need a man. Yeah, to basically. To help me out. <laughs> She's just really, she's really smart in the movie. Yeah. 
So that's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, no, I really liked her a lot. And then um, she, another she led the way. Favorite who got some good uh, amount of screen time. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. How do we get that key? What about the old plush rush? There you go. Well, we're not doing that. Oh yeah, absolutely. In the inner voice. Oh, <laughs> the inner voice. Yeah. I... He was like Woody. How do I find my inner voice? <laughs> and he was like, it's just your inner voice. And then he just starts inner voice, inner voice, inner voice. <laughs> In her voice. <laughs> so it's funny, like <laughs> how they played up uh, the different attributes of the toys, right? You know, and Buzz Lightyear, obviously, you know, Woody has the string, and yeah. Buzz has catchphrases when you press <laughs> his button, and Hilarious. that became his inner voice. And so it would, you know, Buzz like, what, what, what I do? What should I do? Yep. And he hits the voice. He's like, go to Star Command. And he's like. <laughs> That's a great idea. Let's go. <laughs> and he jumps out of the window. <laughs> but then there's some of the returning characters that, like, you just don't really see at all. So I will say, not necessarily a disappointment for me, okay. but for people who are going into this thinking that, oh, we're going to get more of the potato heads and Rex and, oh, yeah, and Slinky Jessie and all. Like, these, pe yeah. these characters are there, but yeah. they're very much background, which I kind of appreciate it right. a little I, bit. I, I agree. I think it let Woody and Bo Peep and Buzz and... Gabby, Gabby, like all and Forky. All the new people. All, all the significant people shine. Like this movie was clearly about them trying to figure out their lives. Exactly. Oh, yeah. why this unicorn wanted the dad to go to jail? She was like, "That's the only way that we can stay longer." <laughs> and even when it proved that it wasn't, he still just wanted to do it. It's kind right. of weird. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was funny. It was, it was kind dark. of weird. He was really. Yeah, dark. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Kind of twisted, like the the bunny and ducky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they have some sort of feelings about humans. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, man. Where do where do things go from here? Do you even want more of these? Movies? I don't know. It was it was a good ending and an ending that made me sad because you know if you like think about it in real life, like letting go of someone or something is is really hard. And so I cried. Um, <laughs> I got almost teary, but then the, yeah. it was funny. Then he something like happened. saw something and it just distracted <laughs> him from his emotions. Um, but. I don't know, I thought it was a strong ending and it doesn't necessarily need another movie. Of course, I would watch another movie of it because I am a Disney fan, I love Toy Story, and I'm okay with continuing watching like more Toy Story stuff, but um, maybe if they had like shorts or like smaller movies. Or bring a TV show back. Yeah. Well, they, they had the Buzz Lightyear TV show. They never really did a Toy Story TV show. Yeah. So that could, could be kind of cool. Yeah. Something like that. But I thought it was it was a strong ending and it, and I don't think it's necessary for them to have another movie. Yeah. Even then, though I would enjoy it. Have like, yeah. Exclusive content yep. get off the mm -hmm. ground. Yep. They could do little shorts. You know, the adventures of Woody and, 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 the, and, the, and the carnival people, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Buzz and Jesse and the other, and you know, Forky and Knifey, and yeah. then getting it on. Oh, yeah, Knifey, who <laughs> comes in at the end. Ah, well, Knifey rhymes with wifey. You see what they're yes, trying to do there? Yes, they're trying yes. to do <laughs> And we can see, like, Bo Peep and Woody's new adventures as lost toys together. Toy Story 4, where would you rank it? Is it. In the middle, is it the best one? Is it the worst one? Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel about it? Okay, well, like I said, the Toy Story one is number one for me. My favorite. Yep. So I would actually say this is in the middle. There's a snake in my boot. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so I would say I would rank this in the middle. So I feel like um, three and four are in the middle on the same length for mm -hmm. me. I can't put one before the other. Um, there's things I liked about Toy Story 3 a lot, and there's things I liked about this a lot. Um, but I would say my least favorite, unfortunately, is Toy Story 2. You're stealing all my answers! I, I like <laughs> Toy Story 2, but right? it honestly wasn't a favorite of mine. It's just not as yeah. good. Yeah. Weird. So yeah, Toy Story 2 is definitely at the bottom of my list as well. Toy Story 1, for me, is at the top. Okay. And uh, I think... Right now, okay. as of right now, I put Toy Story 3 in second and 4 in third. There are a lot of, uh, I think the writing, again, that's here, mm -hmm. um, 
is better than Toy Story 3. Okay. Because as I was watching it and really, again, taking it from that perspective of the character interactions representing different stages of a person's like romantic relationship, right. I really enjoyed that watching that and then obviously watching the movie for what it is to like a kid from a kid's perspective and just watching these toys have their adventure i liked all that but toy story 3 had heart it's rating time all righty okay so what do you give this one is this a no deal a netflix and chill or imax for real for real for real i give it and I make for real. <laughs> of course. She copping out, y'all. <laughs> she was talking a lot of mess. <laughs> no, it was it was really good. I I truly enjoyed the movie. Every aspect of it. And for me, um, I think the movie was definitely a Netflix <laughs> and IMAX for real. What? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you. Yeah, man, this was IMAX for real. I think. Um, it's up there. Like people need to go and check this movie out. Go see it. I think it's something for all ages. Yeah, I think um, everyone will have a different perspective. If you watching know these it. characters, if you don't know these characters, yeah. if you've been exposed to Toy Story before, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. I think if you're just a person that uh, wants to see a good movie with a good story, um, all of it's there. And you want something for both adults and kids, especially if you even have kids. If you don't have kids, like there's just a lot to unpack here. Um, and I, I watched it again. I definitely would like to watch it again. Oh, me too, definitely. Um, and so, yeah, for that Just reason... Just to see if I missed anything from Or, watching. right, like, how would I interpret things different? I don't know, it's weird. Like, I didn't think I'd be watching Toy Story 4 and having this dissertation Deep conversation. about... conversation. Yeah, <laughs> relationships in the human psyche. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, so I, I really enjoyed the movie thoroughly. Yeah, me too. Um, definitely IMAX for real. Yeah. This one gets the stamp. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Peace. Love. Prosperity. Um, again, thanks again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Who yes. is your favorite Toy Story character? Yeah, what was your favorite Toy Story movie? What did movie? you get from the movie? Yeah, like, what did you think? Yeah, what was your perspective of the movie? Like, is are you a toy I didn't. or are you trash? I saw feelings are you a about toy self. Or are you trash? We need to know. Let us know down in the down comments, the okay? okay? And and to make sure you catch the longer version of this video, yep. head on over to misschriscash.com <laughs> and check out the full detail, our full unedited, raw, uncut review yep. of Toy Story 4. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.